LA104 is a small and portable logic signal and protocol analyzer from INIDSO. It has four digital input channels and four digital output channels. It has a ma maximum sampling rate of 100 megasamples per second and an input voltage uh, between uh, 0 and 5 volts. The screen is 2.8 inches. It comes with uh, digital proofs and you could connect the digital proofs to this port okay, directly uh, here. And uh, also you have a USB port here for charging batteries, uh, downloading files and firmware updates and the switch. And uh, two wheels uh, to move through the menus and other options at the top of the of the um, the analyzer you have different areas the one at the top is the menu area in the middle you have the display area uh, with the different port numbers uh, here you have the ruler uh, measuring area and sample scroll bar in order to test it, I am generating a 10 MHz signal PWM with 20% duty cycle, 5 volts. This signal from the signal generator goes to the logic analyzer. At the top of the screen we have the menu area. We could move through the different options using this wheel or encoder. When we choose one option like this one that is in, in is the input protocol, we could click on menu and go inside that option. And we could select different inputs from user that is using just a logic analyzer with four channels or using this wheel we change to SPI. We could see here the different signals from SPI, I square C and uh, UART. We could go inside UART and the different other options, just clicking menu and we could change, move with this wheel up and down to different options and change the values. Okay, and just click OK to confirm any change. Ask to go back. Okay, so let's select the first one that is user, just the logic analyzer. We connect to channel one, we connect it to that channel the uh, the function generator so we could click here to sample and clicking that we get a sample okay it's a 10 megahertz sample so how how could i see this uh in a better way okay just moving this uh wheel we could uh do several things one is we are moving at this moment Okay, you see this cursor. If we click on this one and OK, we then move the other one. Moving these uh, cursors, we could see the difference between one cursor to other, the distance in time. Okay, so this is where the cursor one is, this cursor two, and the distance in time, the difference, the difference in, in time in microseconds here. Okay, if we click OK again, what we change is here the position through the uh do you see here through the scale so the the here you could see the the scale okay so you could move through the ruler if you click again what it changes is the uh, the the is the uh, the base okay the time base so you see is 0 0.2 microseconds. You could change and you could increase and see better. Okay, so you see. Also, you could do that uh, just moving to other uh, menu that is the time base. And if you click menu, you could go inside and change the value. Okay, here is the trigger. What is the trigger? The trigger is a condition uh, how you change uh, or how you uh, start scanning, okay? So you just go inside the trigger and you have many options here. I would 
just recommend you to, to see the, the, the explanation here that we have at the top left of the video because it is uh, you, you have to use it it's a trial and error you could take between any of the channels and it could have a trigger condition or different uh, kind of uh, triggers okay you have all of them here at the top left is the reason why I'm giving some space for that so you could have the different triggers I just use any and then you come here and the trigger condition you could move I just see the at the top of the trigger rising or falling you see this kind of arrow you could move and if you click OK you could activate the activate or change the the conditions rising or falling okay i usually have it falling but it's up to you and trigger mask is what ch what channels are you going to to trigger usually i put all of them okay so i just go and click okay and move through all of them and uh here is the trigger width you could select uh triggering depending on the width of the of the signal so it is quite useful if you want to specifically find a signal with a specific width and the uh, lock level it's the the voltage where the trigger will will occur okay so you just go back and this one measure measure uh, will uh, help you to select the channels here channel 1 and channel 2 you see and uh, you could change the channels like okay I don't want to see information from channel 1 but from channel 3 okay you change and then you see here from channel 3 okay let's keep it channel 1 and uh, what you have here is uh, you, you could see at the top also uh, you have the PPW sum is the total time of positive pulse uh, with uh, of time one and between uh, T1 and T2. Uh, this one is the total time of the negative pulse. Uh, the number, uh, this one of rising edges between T1 and T2, and the number of um, falling edges between T1 and T2. And this is the time of this one and t2 is the time of this other marker and this is the difference between here and here for this is for each of the channels okay so uh let's go to the next uh one the next one is the uh, esc, uh the out <coughs> spi this is a generator so in order to test this one uh you could generate uh, SPI sample PWM uh, Y uh, square C I, I square C and uh, UART so for testing that I will disconnect this cable and put another one that I have here where I connected the inputs to the outputs okay so I could test it directly so I'm going to to show what the generator is is really generating okay so how do I do that okay uh, for example imagine I want to show the PWM so I could go inside it uh, I will generate PWM in these two channels and I go inside with the menu and I could say okay PWM uh, one enable I could say on and uh, the PWM frequency let's say 20 kilohertz and the first channel will be 50% duty cycle and the second one will be 10% duty cycle okay so I will it is just generating this PWM because it's an on so I could just sample because it's in, in user uh, mode so I will scan okay and I have it here so what do I do I just um, um, move Okay, let me select the time base. So, okay, you see? So you see one of the signal is the PWM 50% and the other one is 10%. So it scanned properly, generated it and unscanned it. Okay, let's try another one. 
Let's go again inside this one and say instead of PWM, I want to generate SPI. Okay, so I could just generate SPI, but it will just uh, produce one sample. If I have user, it will be just uh, logic analyzer. So I click on sample, it is sampling, and I will click on OK, and it will generate this sample. Okay, you see? So I could go to time base and uh, change the time base and see the signal, but it is not decoding the signal. So if I want to analyze this protocol, then I go to here, menu, and choose SPI. Okay, so I click on OK. I will not change any any of the values here, just showing as a ASCII uh, data format. Okay, and I will go to um, to th this uh, sorry uh, SPI. Uh, escape and come here to Alt SPI, go inside menu, and then whenever I click OK, it will generate this sample of SPI. So first I have to sample, sample, and click generate. Okay, so what do I have here now? I have the same sample, but the thing is that I have it analyzed here. LA104 SPI is what was sent here, okay? So I go to this time base and I change it and I could see more in detail, okay? You see? More in detail it. Okay, so it's a way to analyze that. Uh, in the same way I generate that with a generator and scan it through here, you could directly scan from a, from an output channel from a, whatever device you have, okay? Uh, we have more menus here, like the file system. You could just click here and you could save a VMP that is an image a capture, image capture of this one, just clicking on OK. So it is saving. Or you could save in a CSV file format. It will save with this number, okay? CSV file format is a format that you could um, Analyzing uh, in Excel using Excel spreadsheets. Okay, so let's to come back and let's go to the next one. Settings. Settings is to save the parameters. If you change some parameters, you could just save them, clicking OK or restore previous parameters, or change the volume of the of, of the cursors. If I change the volume, you see could hear the clicks and I usually put it to zero okay you could change the backlight to reduce uh, for example battery consumption also the battery really uh, is uh, it could you could use it long time uh, the standby time so in five minutes it will just uh, go to standby you could change this time on power off after 30 minutes not using it it will just power off and that's all uh, you have here the the status of the battery and that's all